We have been reporting this week on a horrific series of investigations. From used in an alleged online sex predator, Sacramento County deputies releasing videos from a pair of arrests this week. One of those suspects, Demetrius Davis, made his first court appearance just hours ago. He is accused of directing dozens of children to engage in pornography. Now, given the alleged crimes, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office is encouraging the public to push state lawmakers and the governor to keep the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force Funded. And at ABC 10, we stand for you. Our van too verifies what's happening with that money now turning into a heated debate. Yeah, we reached out to the governor's office, the Department of Finance and the legislator who spearheaded this funding to confirm that, yeah, there is no budget for the task force next fiscal year. But it isn't too late to turn that around. Efforts are underway. But along with that, political mudslinging in the race for Sacramento Sheriff. The arrest of Demetrius Carl Davis, accused of grooming more than 80 children around the world into producing child porn for his pleasures, shines a light on how the Internet has made it easier for abusers to reach vulnerable children. And the Sacramento Sheriff's Office says ICAC, the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, which investigates these heinous crimes, is in jeopardy of being disbanded. Could not be more concerned. If there is one team I would not want to see disbanded, it is that one. It is that important. The state's Department of Finance confirms the task force received appropriations for $5 million a year for three years under the 2019 Budget Act. That limited agreement ends this fiscal year. For next fiscal year 2022-23, there are zero dollars earmarked. Put that line item back in the, or into the 2022-23 budget. While confirming where funding stands, political mudslinging. Assemblyman Jim Cooper, who spearheaded funding for ICAC, and Under Sheriff Jim Barnes are both running for Sacramento Sheriff. So every year I fought back with governors, Governor Brown, and the current governor to get the funding restored. Cooper, a former commander for Sacramento's ICAC task force, says he is still pushing for increased funding. In this letter dated March 2022, requesting the budget committee to earmark $10 million for ICAC. He says he has issues with his opponent's appearance in the sheriff's office produced YouTube video. Funding is imperative to help ICAC personnel bring these abusers to justice. Cooper and state officials tell ABC 10 the sheriff's office hasn't formally submitted requests for ICAC funding. It, it bothers me. That's why as a commander, I saw those images for three years and worked with those detectives that were out there making those arrests. And, you know, for, for, for Jim Barnes to come in now and say, hey, it, it's a big deal in the production, the whole YouTube video, it's just self-serving. Meanwhile, the governor's office did not have comment on this budget line item. However, Governor Newsom is in a budget revision process until mid-May, and the legislature also has an opportunity to add its own revision in mid-June. We followed up with both the sheriff's office and Barnes's campaign for a response. The sheriff responding late today, quote, if you are suggesting that the only way that critical functions of our public safety mission should be funded is if we advocate for them with the legislature suggests that those same legislators see no inherent value in these functions on their own. For Assemblymember Cooper to suddenly change his course this year and conspire with his cronies to artificially endanger funding so he can thereafter come in as the hero and restore it simply for his own political gain is not only juvenile, it endangers the very children he feigns to want to protect. Now, the protection of our most vulnerable is too critical to be politicized, and it is disgusting that what Mr. Cooper would do attempt to do so.